So BMR's cradle bushing lockout kit that we're taking a look at today is going to be a premium option kit for the Mustang owner out there that's looking to keep their car and their rear end more importantly on the ground. So this should definitely appeal to Mustang owners out there that are looking to cut down on subframe bushing deflection and wheel hop, which in turn means that you're gonna get off the line that much better, as well as having more improved handling through the corners. But more importantly, this kit was brought to market to help reduce cradle deflection, which in English essentially means that you're getting smokier burnouts, but more importantly, it's gonna be centering that cradle. Now it's also worth pointing out that BMR was able to achieve their results while not creating additional noise, vibration, or harshness. And for that, I think it's gonna be a great option for no matter a commuter or an autocrosser or a track car. But in terms of the construction and materials, we're going to see that this U.S. manufactured kit is going to be primarily manufactured out of 1 and 5 eighths heavy-duty steel for strength and durability. And we're also going to see that the upper lockout rings will be manufactured out of a 6061 T6 aluminum. The lowers as well as the additional supports will be laser cut out of a stainless steel. Now switch gears to the pricing here, you should expect to be spending 200 bucks to get into this kit, which in my opinion is honestly a no-brainer if you're looking to help that IRS get down that much more effectively, which in turn is going to help you get off the line better. Now for the install, again, I'm going to be giving this one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here and it should take about an hour. Now you will need a full socket set and a pry bar for this install. Now if you have access to a lift, you are going to need a pull jack to support the cradle in place as you're working on it. Now if you are using a set of jack stands to work under your car, you will need a floor jack to hold the cradle in place. Now first off, you're going to want to get your car off the ground and if you are using a lift, you'll want to get that pull jack underneath the cradle to support it. Start by removing the two smaller support cradle bracket bolts on the front of the cradle. Now just a quick note here, the rear is not going to have a bracket. Next, loosen all four main cradle bolts without completely removing them. Once all four bolts are loosened, remove two of the main cradle bolts in the front or rear of whichever side you're on, and then drop that cradle enough so you can get your new cups, bushings, and brackets in place. Now just a quick note guys, the cups are the little pieces that look like hockey pucks. The thicker ones are going to be up front, and then the thinner ones are going to be used in the rear. So on the front of the cradle, install the taller cup in the gap, and then use the lower bushing insert on the bottom. On the rear, you're going to use the thinner upper cup on top and then use the lower bracket on the bottom. Reinsert the main cradle bolts and support brackets along with the two smaller cradle bolts, but make sure not to fully tighten them as you'll need the cradle to sag to work on the other side. And once the other side's completed, you'll simply tighten up all your bolts and you're good to go. Now you might need to use a pry bar to wiggle the cradle back in before tightening down your bolts, but once you're done there, after the installation is complete, we would recommend going out and getting a good alignment. So that's going to conclude my review of BMR's Cradle Bushing Lockout Kit fitting your 2015 through 2017 Mustang, available right here at AmericanMuscle.com. <laughs>